Hello friends. I wanted to do a jewelry bag. I got these over a week ago, but I had company coming and we were going camping. So I did not get them done. So um, they had four bags yesterday that I did not buy, but I did get these three bags. I'm gonna do them one at a time or if I can do them fast, I'll go through them. Um, but I also wanted to show you what my daughter bought me. Is this beautiful? It's a hand blown glass base. Had a price tag on it, but she got it at a thrift store for like a couple bucks. So always keep an eye out. There's some really good finds. She knows I love blown glass. You can see there's little bubbles in it. Um, it's really, really pretty. It matches my decor very well. So anyway, keep your eye out for those kind of things. Um, I was looking for my magnet. It was stuck to the bottom. So I have my loop in my magnet. Uh, I always carry them in my purse. I always have them in a little container in my purse. Um, I take the staples off because they will cut me if um, I don't get them off. So just, but I want to open the bag with you so you know I didn't check. Okay, so um, I looked at these bags. I'm just going to rip it this time. That's just, I folded it over so many times. Um, there was a silver ring I saw in here that was quite big and quite heavy. Okay. There's a couple actually, so I can see them really clearly. There's a <laughs> brooch to kick uh, poking me. Always be careful because a lot of times these bags, um, I get poked all the time. So anyway, there's these two rings. I should have shown you before I open the bag, they're falling out. <laughs> anyway, there's two rings that are silver in there. And now we have stuff on the floor. <laughs> Just looking where it went. Um, they bounced over pretty good. I don't know. Hopefully it wasn't anything exciting. I'm picking something up with my toes. This is what we missed. <laughs> the metal button earrings. Okay, let me clear some space. Make sure I don't step on something. I don't see it. Hopefully that was it. Okay, a copper showing through ring. So um, nobody's going to want this because the copper is showing through. As you can see, it's... The plating is coming off, so I'll throw that right in the recycle pile. Um, this is what was poking me. It's a brooch, and it has a little angel swinging on a moon, which is actually it's kind of cute. Um, sometimes the designer pins can be, I mean, they're not worth a ton because they're not real, but um, sometimes people look for a specific brand, and this one has a, a it comes back. Gosh, I'm having a moment. <laughs> My magnet just rolled off the table. I don't normally sit at this spot. Maybe it's I'm jinxed because I'm not I'm not in the right spot. So it has a name right in there. And I can't read it. It's a it's not um, in there very well as you could see when I showed it to you anyway so you can look up the designer things online I haven't had a ton of luck with um, pins nobody's into pins anymore except for they use them in their wedding bouquets in the center if they're like vintage or something so there's that anyway um, it's not real let me show you with my magnet that's now on the floor. I'm picking up with my toes. <laughs> oh my gosh. I, mean, I just turned the video over. I dropped it again from my hand. <laughs> oh, look, I picked up a staple off the ground. <laughs> I'm having a day. <laughs> it's brass. <laughs> gosh. Oh, and the little... Oh, you know what? It's bent, and this thing keeps coming out. That's why I'm like, why does that keep coming out and poking? Well, that might be why they're not wearing it. <laughs> it's poking them. I'll have to bend that back before I sell it. So a lot of the stuff I sell at yard sales, um, some of it I sell online. Um, last week, if you watch one of my videos, I got, for $25, I got, um, there was three, well, two Tiffany bracelets in the bag. And when I researched them, they were actually really Tiffany and they said Sterling and they were all marked correctly. And when I looked on um, on eBay, um, they had them for sale. So I actually sold them uh, online locally here um, for a couple hundred dollars. So you got to always check. So 
So plastic heart earrings <laughs> that were marked $2.99 originally somewhere. So um, new earrings and stuff like that I'll put out for Halloween. Um, I usually don't give out earrings, but if they're new on the card like these ones are, these ones also are marked $2.99 in their little buttons. Um, so if they're new like that, I will put them out. Um, usually I just put other jewelry out so um, people can get them if they want instead of treats. Um, here's some more button earrings. Kind of twisted. I'm trying to... Oh, well, maybe the problem is I'm twisting in the wrong direction. <laughs> I'm just twisting them that way. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so what I want to check here is they look really tarnished, and I'm wondering if somebody used sterling uh, earrings. <laughs> so um, I'm just going to look, because they're not magnetic, I'm going to look and see if there's any markings of sterling on them. Sometimes they are. Somebody will just use what they have sitting around, and sometimes they will use sterling. Um, and I'm not seeing any markings on them that way. That's funny. Sorry. <laughs> just, just having a moment today. <laughs> okay. Well, they're not. They're not. Um, not magnetized. But I'm not seeing sterling on them. Sometimes the sterling findings that people make homemade jewelry out of actually don't say that they're sterling marked on the product. They'll mark it. It'll be on the paperwork for it. But, um, yeah, somebody made a whole bunch. Look at these. <laughs> back of that looks funny. Look at the back of this earring. It looks funny, but the front looks cute. So, <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, somebody had a whole bunch of earrings that they did not sell and um, donated, clearly. <laughs> and this is also new. So this kind of stuff I use in pinatas um, or I give it at Halloween or um, sometimes I'll use them at the fair. Well, like I've done booths at the fair for that benefit the food bank and I have um, a fishing booth and a beanbag toss. And so sometimes I'll do, I'll use them for that. Okay, these are clearly, their findings, their hearts, and they're not real. So um, also people come to my yard sales. Um, I do one a year, typically right around the time, the end of the summer, um, to help pay my house taxes. So um, people will come specifically for my jewelry that's a cute little girl's bracelet that's got charms on it that's not real uh, clearly it's magnetic but it's got a little cute princess on it i think my granddaughter would love that so i'm going to put that aside for her um so my yard sale i um people will come specifically for that and they'll sit until it's dark out looking at the i just throw all the jewelry i bag it individually kind of like this and then i'll throw it out on the um, blanket and they'll go through and pick up what they want. So this looks like a watch band. Um, I'll just stick that out as is. Um, somebody might want it. Um, so anyway, that's that. Here's a bracelet. It's enamel. It's got a T on the inside. Right there. You can see it right there. Um, so it's kind of looks Christmassy with the colors, but I can still look it up. So I'm going to look up that that uh, moon necklace. I'm going to see if I can figure out what it says. Um, I'm not going to take the time while I'm on video, but these are not the coppers coming through there too. So I just recycle this for the copper. A lot of the jewelry that... Um, they make nowadays is copper plate and um, because copper is not magnetic you can't really tell what it is but anyway there's a broken bracelet recycle it's not magnetic but once again it's brass it's probably copper plate okay so I ripped the bag open and it's a big mess so I'm not <laughs> I'm just gonna pick up one at a time and we'll go from there because it's all on the table almost all of it now Okay, so magnetic, 
necklace. Um, just, all these will be just yard sale things. It's not enough. If there's something cute, I will show it to my kids sometimes. But for the most part, they have more jewelry than they would ever want. And um, magnetic. So just a little earring. Um, these are huge. <laughs> You imagine that's <laughs> so big <laughs> looks like it would whack your neck every time you move and it's noisy besides um very noisy not real oh my gosh <laughs> my back I won't let go of it I'm <laughs> just just having a day Clearly, a little bracelet. It's actually kind of pretty, but those don't fit on my wide hands. Um, this is a clip-on earring. It looks like it could be fake light. And there's a way to test for that using a hot pin um, and see what it smells like when it, you're putting the pin through it. Um, a Christmas ornament brooch. I don't see any. Uh, it's pretty cheap on the inside. I don't see any markings on it. It's clearly not real. Um, and it's not designer. There's no markings. So, remember these? <laughs> they pinch your hair. They're terrible bracelets, but they're cheap and they're fun for kids. So, um, anyway, I don't know if I kept, I kept saying, um, Okay, there's two sets of hoop earrings here. None of my girls like hoops. Their hair's too long and it gets tangly. Um, but they have given them to their friends. Here's some more of that elastic kind of bracelet. Um, but about Halloween, um, I usually don't give out earrings. There's copper coming through on this silver earring, so I'm just going to recycle that. Um, there's a bracelet homemade with a little magnet magnetism but it um sometimes so see how it's not like grabbing a lot right there but it is grabbing the wire that they use to make it is magnetic and the findings may be sterling but the so these ends might be sterling but the magnet wire the wire that they use to um feed it is not so sometimes you'll have to just double check um and look for markings on the, um, and I usually just rub my finger and feel for any kind of thing. They don't look sterling to me. They just, um, they're probably coated. Um, but also, um, typically they don't make this type of clasp sterling because it will fall out, but I actually have seen sterling in that type of clasp, so you just have to be careful. So I am not going to keep that. I don't, I don't have a, it just doesn't look and feel, it's, it's got a little magnetism. It just doesn't look real and feel real. You kind of get a, every once in a while I'm wrong, but for the most part, you kind of get a feeling of, you've, you know, looked at it long enough that you kind of can tell. So sometimes it won't it won't be magnetic, but I can't see any markings on it, and I'll keep it anyway. I'll just have a bag of probable silver, but not marked silver. You can test it, but a lot of times, this is what I'm dealing with. <laughs> you can scrape and test it, but a lot of times with the, it'll have parts of silver in it, but it won't be sterling, and so it will test um, also the plating depending on how, how thick the plating is and how dig you deep in dig into the, okay, this is just annoying. It's not real and it's all stuck together. I just want to make sure there's no earrings on it. Um, um, so depending on how deep you dig into the item, not real native bird. Um, so sometimes even when you test it, it will test a silver, but the item isn't silver all the way through. So I just have a probable silver bag that I can recycle if I'm not sure, but I think they're mostly silver. Um, yeah, clearly that's not going to be real, but 
It's pretty. We'll put that aside. Hope we can find the match for it. Um, let's see. Some more earrings from that batch that somebody made in blue hearts. So we've got pink and baby blue hearts. And then this copper is showing through on the back of that. And the beads are really, really uh, chipped up. They don't look very good. And it's magnetic. So I think I will take the beads off and just cut, uh, recycle the whole thing. Uh, Metal-wise, I don't think anybody's going to want that the way that it is. So let's see. Okay, this is a nightmare. Somebody saran wrapped all their earrings and their jewelry. It's all... There's a... I have not had this experience before where it's all saran wrapped. How lucky me. Oh my goodness. Let's hope there's some treasures in this. I'm peeling it apart. I'm worried they're all going to fall on the ground. So I'm kind of leaning it on the table. Oh my gosh, what a mess. Look at this. I guess it's one way of keeping them. Oh, man. Why would anybody wear this? It's not real. So, oh, my goodness. Okay. What I think I'm going to do is run my magnet um, over. Let's see if I can lay it down on the table. And I'll just run my magnet over and I'll pull out anything that... Maybe real, because that looks like a lot of little, um, gosh, a lot of little earrings. Okay. <laughs> magnet, magnet. Um, there's witch cat, uh, Halloween cats that are kind of cute. Let me see if I can get them out. It's, it's a mess. They're stuck together. I'm going to have to rip it to get them out. Okay, let me check everything before I start ripping. Magnetic, magnetic, magnetic. Magnetic, magnetic. I think this is just a little girl's because they're earrings that I don't think an adult woman would wear. And they're all magnetic. Um, magnetic. Oh, there might be a pair of silver here. Oh, there. Oh, I'll have to rip those ones out. There. Um, let's see if I can. Magnetic, magnetic. Oh, really magnetic. Magnetic, magnetic, magnetic. Magnetic, magnetic, magnetic. I. Uh, magnetic. Okay, they don't look real well. Let me, but I'll pull them out anyway. Um, there's some pearls, and also you got to be careful because if the backs are magnet, the backs are magnetic, but the earrings themselves are not magnetic. You could be throwing away some gold earrings just because the backs are magnetic. So you have to kind of be aware of what you're, what you're doing. Magnetic. So make sure that not just the backs of the earrings are coming up, but the. Now what happened there? Okay, there were some that I was hoping were real, but not, not, not. Let's see, what are those? Not real. Okay, let's see. The non-magnetic ones, let's see. Rip it open and get them out. Let's see if it was just that they weren't. Oh, they're magnetic. Okay, so all of these um, are... I thought there was another pair that wasn't, but I'm not, none of them look like they are real. Okay, we're just going to transfer that whole bag over here. Yeah, this one fell out. It kind of looked like an opal in the bag, but if you look at it, it's not real. It's not. It's just glass that's painted. Bummer. The little enamel earrings. Once again, I'm sure it's not real. 
because if you look at the back, it has those striations, and that's not what silver looks like. That's what costume jewelry looks like on the back. Okay, some more hoops. Not real. Wow. That. All right, more buttons. Yeah. Um. Let's see. We got a bunch of clip-ons. Okay, here's the other one to the one I did at the beginning that was magnetic. Um. God, this bag so far is kind of disappointing. Not magnetic. Homemade. More button earrings. More button earrings. Um, more of that bracelet that I was recycling. That's kind of a brass. It looks like it could have been a designer. Um, but I'm not at the brat. There's copper coming through on it. So we're just going to recycle the whole thing. Actually, that would really be a pretty center to a wedding bouquet. So I think I'm going to put that in for my sister because she does wedding bouquets. If you want to check those out, you can look at my blog, thesecretisgratitude.com and type in um, wedding bouquet. She did my daughter's wedding bouquet. Uh, it's really beautiful. Okay. There is a bracelet. Could be brass, could be gold. Wouldn't it be great if that was gold? It's got beads on it. And then gold beads. So. Sometimes these are marked like on here. There's like engraving or on this type of thing there's engraving. But I can't imagine they would put gold um, with a clasp like that because that's just too chancy that it could fall off and get pulled and snagged. Um, it looks like plate and I'll show you what, why I think that but it could be just tarnish but um, let's see. Let me look at the other one just double check all of them real quick and then I can show you why I think it's plate. it looks like it's chipping off. Um, plate has little holes on it that cause it to like the dark to shine through. And, they, and on all plate it's the same. It has these dark, you see those little dark holes. That is what plate looks like. It just has those little dots. Because as it's plating it, I guess the little rougher areas of the um, but it's still pretty. I think somebody would wear it. So when it's going on, it sometimes doesn't stick to all parts of the jewelry metal, and so um, it has those little dots on it. Most times, plate has that on it. The other one of those native looking. Um, okay, another, and this is why I'm saying it doesn't look real. See how shiny that is? That looks like a not not sterling. So I and I looked at it pretty closely on the other one. I'll just double check, but it just doesn't have the right look of sterling. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything. Just doesn't at all have the right look. So Nickel, maybe. Um, okay. Enamel, 80s earrings, button earrings, uh, red, white, and blue. I don't know. American flag, maybe. Red heart with. I don't know. More of the broken bracelet, copper showing through. Same part of that bracelet showing through. Another drawstring see if that looks the same plate coming through
shows up more on things that may not um, take it as well. It's not. This is more like that other metal. It doesn't necessarily look or feel like sterling, but I don't know. They're cute, though. I have daughters that, because they've got teeny wrists, and so when you can pull them tight like that, they'll like them. But I'm just not thinking it's real. Love is patient and love is kind. It doesn't also look like sterling. The jump ring is clearly not, but um, the charm also just doesn't have that. It's probably plated brass or copper. Just doesn't have the sterling feel or look to it. You can, nothing's coming off. Just doesn't. The feel of it's not right. The weight of it's not right. Um, more of the cheap earrings that came out of that thing. Um, this one feels like a designer. It's heavier. Um, it's not magnetic. It's probably solid brass. It's kind of heavy. The stems are... Okay, no, it's plated. You can see it cracking and you can see um, green coming onto the copper. So it's copper. The reason it's heavy is it's copper, but it's plated copper. So you could see that. But still, um, if it's designer, you might be able to sell it online. You just never know. Um, a pink cross. I don't know. This computer has never done pink well. Okay, it's magnetic, but it looks like it's plated on the... So this part is not magnetic, but look at the back. It doesn't look... Usually silver work is really um, smooth, and this on the back is not smooth. That's usually a plate sign. Just going to try and show you what the plate looks like. So, typically, when it looks like, see the chip looking black on the edge? The reason there's holes there, that's not a mistake. That's not the plating. That is to let the sparkle through to the stones on the front. So typically, if they want the stones to sparkle, they will leave holes in the back, but those are really small holes, so I don't know how much light is going to actually get through that. Um, also, you know, I can rub it, and it may be silver plate, even will tarnish, and it will leave dirt. See how that kind of left some dirt? So that's probably plate. Um, just because of the look of it. It it doesn't it's not marked nine two five or sterling anywhere and the it's kind of ridgy um and messy. So that's probably plate. So you can put that in the recycle silver plate. Um you can't recycle gold and silver in the same um we already tested this at the beginning. It has copper shining through. Um, which is weird that it's magnetic. It almost feels like an aluminum. It doesn't feel like a copper, but it's weird because copper is showing through, which is really weird because it's actually magnetic. So I'm not quite sure what's going on there, but anyway, you look at it, it's not um, real. But um, gold, if, when you refine gold, if you do it yourself, it, it eats up all the other metals and you have to kind of recoup them from the acid. So it's better not to do your own. Okay, these are earrings with no tops. The tops have been taken off. So maybe somebody wanted, needed gold <laughs> tops. I don't know. Um, they're not real, but they are kind of cute. I mean, they'd be cute for a wedding or something, maybe. I don't know. So I will 
see if anybody wants those, and I can fix those. Put that with those over here. Those bracelets, I, I didn't want to keep them separate. Um, this also looks like maybe earrings somebody took the top off of, but gosh, I wouldn't wear those. Plasticky, can you imagine that getting stuck in your hair? That would be a mess. Okay. Oh, that's kind of a fun ring. It's not real, but I had a necklace. Actually, I have a 50s necklace that that matches really well. It's literally almost identical. It's a choker. It has blue stones and leaves that come around, and it's a 50s choker that I haven't worn in years. I guess I got that. <laughs> Just can't say it. People are like, you shouldn't say that. And I'm like, oh, it's real. It's true. I don't have an issue with it. <laughs> it is what it is. Uh, okay, these look like cheap earrings. They look like they would give you your ears get infected. So non-magnetic cheap earrings. Look, now we have pink, blue, and they're all the pastels. Look, we've got yellow. <laughs> they almost look like beehives. The pattern on them look like beehives. Okay, so more hoops. Gosh, I wish I knew somebody that wore those. Oh, look, and now we've got lavender. We have every color of the pastel rainbow for these earrings. <laughs> so we could all wear them together and we could all match. <laughs> Everybody wear. Yeah, this computer. These are actually lavender and they look kind of offish there. And I don't know why. It's always been that way. Elastic plastic beads. Um. A button, a bell, a couple of beads, and some sequins. <laughs> Somebody didn't want to throw those away. That's so funny. Okay, here's that other Bakelite looking earring. So I'll put those on the check for that. Um, a gold bee stick pin. These were popular when I was a child in, in the uh, mid 70s, late 70s. Yeah, late 70s. Just before 80. Gosh, my age is showing. Okay, we've got really ugly clip-on earrings. Um, they don't have a brand name on them. Sometimes the older earrings that are marked Germany or Cora brand or oh, what are some of the older earring companies? Um, more of that bracelet. Um, here's one. Mark Japan. Japan's 50s ish. Um, Germany, East Germany is a little older typically. Um, somebody might like these. I have a young girl in my neighborhood that doesn't have her ears pierced, and every time I see her at church, she just got engaged and getting married. That's a button earring. Um, she's wearing some of the earrings I gave her. She's so cute. I'm not quite sure why she didn't want to get her ears pierced, but anyway, some pink clip-on earrings. Yeah, and this clip-on that's missing the center. Gosh, wouldn't it be really fun if they were real rubies? They're not. I mean, clearly the back's all peeling off of them. They're different colors of metal, and the center ones are missing. Um... Yeah, I don't think anybody would want those. She might, my sister might be able to use that for a center of a bouquet if somebody's having a Christmas wedding or something. So I'll throw those in the gift to my sister pile. Um, kind of an ugly plastic bracelet. Nobody's probably going to want. Um, this looks like it could be a designer because it's heavy and the enamel, but yeah. Nobody's gonna. I think there was another one of these in gold. It's magnetic anyway. Um, I mean red. Nope, it's green. It's kind of heavier than plastic star. 80s enamel. Wow, this is. Oh, this is perfect. I can show you. 
West Germany. Right there, Western Germany. It's just like what I was telling you. Sometimes these ones can be valuable depending on what people are looking for. But gosh, look at how awful that would be in your hair. Can you imagine getting that stuck in your hair? But look how cute it is. I mean, it's really kind of a cute vintage earring. I think those would probably sell online if I have the other one, which it doesn't look like I do currently. And maybe it's in one of the other bags I bought, but um, yeah, if that was a set, I think that would actually maybe sell. It's kind of cute. Um, but there's only one. Oh, nope, the other one. Nope, that's it. Nope. It was underneath this bag. I told you it's all dumped down on the table. So those ones I would actually try and sell. Um, the Western Germany ones are kind of older and they're more, um, they have more people who collect that kind of a thing. But that age is going quickly. Okay, more brass for the recycle. A lovely um, missing a stone stretchy ring. <laughs> it's missing a whole stone right there. So that will probably go recycle. Um, but for now, I'm going to put it with my sister's stuff because she might be able to use the stone for a thing. But the metal part I'll recycle. That is actually a broken earring. So um, it'll probably just go in the garbage. That set. Okay, here's enamel from the 80s. Um, that is the other bird earring and it kind of got bent. So oh there's the back to that earring so we'll, I can glue that and somebody can have that lovely orange if they want it okay we've looked at both of these before they are not real um, oh they kind of look like what I have on they're shell earrings with metal dangling down so I don't know, uh, $4.99, but uh, I might take the metal off and just wear the earring part. I don't know. I'll have to see. I typically, I have round ones, but they're super big and round, and they clink and kind of get caught in my hair, so I've been wearing these ones with this. I get lots of compliments on this, but maybe these round ones would actually be better. They may be too white, though. I don't know. That may be a keeper for me. We'll have to see. Um, a whale corded mm, boys kind of a necklace. I'm gonna just leave it in the bag. I don't know. These were popular to make years ago. There's so many of them stuck to the magnet. <laughs> My grandkids might like those, but I'm not gonna wear them. I don't want people to hear me coming. <laughs> see me? They can see me coming just fine. I don't need them to hear me coming. More hoop earrings. Gosh, there's a lot of those. Um, let's see what's left. These <laughs> so far, no sterling. It's kind of a cheap bag, but um gosh, this is a mess. I guess it kept it from getting tangled in its own way. It does look like a little girl's um collection though. If I can just pull it open. It's not it's not a happy bag. <laughs> Look at this. It's like it's almost like they melted it closed or something. I'm just ripping it. Okay. Okay. This part is magnetic. This pack Part is not magnetic. What's going on is they added an extender to make the necklace longer. So this part is magnetic because it's the extender. Um, but this part is not magnetic. So let's look at the clasp on the part that's not magnetic. And it may not be sterling, but I'm going to take the extender off and see what we've got. Sometimes if there's metal attached over here, um, it will cause some magnetism on the necklace itself. But uh, so you want to test it without the that. 
Let's see. There's something going on down here. Look together. Is that thing? China. W T J. So we'll have to look up W T J and China. If it's made in China, it's most likely a very close fake to sterling. And this is what they do. Um, I bought some quote quote sterling from China and they just lightly magnetized. So I don't see that it's written anywhere that it's sterling. Um, but they will write that it is sterling and it's not necessarily sterling if it's from China. China has no scruples. <laughs> not all China, but a lot of the manufacturers in China. Um, it looks like it's plated and you can see the pocking. Um, hopefully you can kind of see how it's not smooth. If it's, if it's bumpy like that, it's usually not sterling. But look how cute. Oh, what does the kiss say? Kisses. It says kisses. Isn't that cute? Ooh, Hershey's Christmas kiss. I actually like that. I would, I think my grandkids would like that. Um, a little shell. And what I do with those is put them in the luau pile. I have a big treasure chest and we do pirate themes. And I've got some pirates that I use for um, decorating at Halloween, but for the luau's. And so I usually just not real. Um, I have baggies of trink trinkets and stuff that I use for the luau's. And it um, looks like somebody was trying to sell this at a yard sale or something. It's magnetic. But how cute is that? Little glasses. Um, my daughter's husband's in optometry school, so she might like that just as a fun aside. I'll ask her. Um, So anyway, the luau bags, I just I just put any shells or beads that or trinket necklaces that look piratey or shells, that's not gonna be real. Um, I put them in the little baggies, individual baggies, and put them in the treasure chest and then people can pull them, get out, get out what they want. Um, also lays like the shell, puka shells and that kind of thing. I will also okay, look at this nightmare. There's an owl, clearly not real. And um, what does it say? It says best. So somebody's got the friend part of that owl. But look at this. It's got this cute little bat that would be great for a costume. I have like a Minerva costume. Evening gown kind of a thing. Look at how fun that would be. So I think I'll keep that one but I'm not going to fight with it. It's all stuck in there. So, yeah, we'll have to deal with that later. <laughs> okay, almost done. I'll just have a couple more piles here. Uh, Clip-on earrings have nothing written on the back. Those don't really sell. Those are 50s looking. These look like somebody made them out of Play-Doh or something. Um, some more necklaces. They all look kind of kitty. The bird, they look like icing. Um, I don't know, some kind of dove. Definitely not real. Um, some charms. The copper is coming through on the charms. So that those three definitely not keepers. Um, blue. Only one of them has a... Maybe it was a necklace? No. Only one of them has the, the little dream catcher part in the middle. It looks like somebody was in the middle of making a necklace earring set and they only got one of them done. So somebody at my yard sale will take those. That's the other enamel little cameo bird. The other Halloween plastic. The other, that was one of the first ones I held up, an enamel. Um, these ones are kind of cute. They look more, I actually have a, pendant from my mother that would match these really well. It's a very old pendant that has all the different colors on it and those actually might match. So I'll keep those and check with the 
that. Oh, too bad there's not two of these. Look how cute this little cat is. Well, maybe it's... No, I don't see it in there. It's a little Halloween kitty. But there's only one of them, darn it. So, won't be keeping that. Um, typically... Uh, one of these will screw off and you can put it on as an earring, but I'm, <laughs> I'm not going to put it on because somebody else may have already done that, but um, anyway, it's funny. Only one of them's magnetic. But, see the discoloration? So I think they're, maybe the pull that went through to attach it got broken? Nope. I think they're just like slide on earrings and you can have the silver and the brass or just the brass. <laughs> My best guess because there is no peg coming out. Uh, that's adorable. Where's the other one of those? Funny, the two earrings I like, there's there's not matches to them. Darn it. My cat and my leprechaun earrings. None. Okay, there's these danglies. Magnetic. And, oh, look at, we got the other Christmas earring. So, and here's the other uh, one I showed you that was kind of a designer that the plating was coming off. And, oh, look, my other leprechaun earring. I will keep those. That's adorable. I'll wear them on St. Patrick's Day and show my grandkids. They'll like that. So there's that, and this is the whole reason I bought the bags, because it seemed like a lot of silver weight. That looks real, and it's very heavy. Wow, it fits in two. Look how well that fits. And then this one has blue topaz in it. I mean blue, um, oh my gosh, what's it called? It's actually somebody's school ring. <laughs> Oh six. I'm not gonna say the person's name. If you saw it, I'm sorry, person. They were into drama, graduating, swimming, maybe, engineering. Some intermediate school. Um, it is blue topaz. And it's got some initials in it. And it's got SS in it. So it's got it's sterling silver. It's just marked differently. Um Right there, you can see SS. It's really silver. So when they make them, depending on who's making them, it's been bent to try and make it fit somebody, but it actually fits me pretty well. Um, anyway, sometimes they mark them differently. So that is fairly he heavy sterling. Okay, then we've got this one that is quite heavy as well and it also sometimes Mexico can be iffy too um, it says SS on it and then the Mexico stamp but um, Here. 
it actually could be not sterling. Um, actually, yeah. Boy, it's been trashed. It's like good thing we ran over it or something. Look at all that scratching. It has the look of silver and it's got a lot of weight to it. It's very heavy. Um, but oftentimes they'll add something to it, like a nickel or something in Mexico. But um, I kind of like it. So look at how shiny it is next to this other one. So it almost makes me feel like it's got some kind of aluminum in it or something. Can you see how the, the silver is tarnished and this one's super shiny? You can't really tell when you're looking through the bag, but this one has been scratched the crap out of it. It's got scratches all over it. I mean, sterling is soft, but it doesn't usually take a beating like that. Um, can you see? I mean, this one's scratched, but it's not like shiny. Like, this is almost an aluminum shiny, and the scratches are almost like you would get with an aluminum. Okay, this is the clash ring, and that's the other. Oh, it's kind of sound similar. Anyway, that's the other thing you can do. But it's so shiny, it's not going to leave much tarnish, even if it was. Wow, it's getting hot. But aluminum will all do also do that. But aluminum is much softer and it's not bending. It did get hot super fast. Maybe it did bend. I don't know. Anyway, you can get the tester out and scrape real deep. I am going to do a video on um, how to tell like the difference in golds and the gold plate, gold fill. I do have a couple of videos about that, but somebody wrote me recently asking if I would do one, uh, an update, and that maybe I need to use a better camera. The one I was using was really bad, and the lighting was really bad. So I will try and do it during the day and uh, kind of show you that. I don't really like the testing kits. Like I said, you can – so I could scrape the top of this, and it would say sterling if it's, if it's plated or if it's mixed. It doesn't tell you the – quality of sterling it'll just tell you whether it's silver um gold will do you you have different solutions so it'll be like 10 12 uh, 18 24 and then if it, you have to just test up as you go and it will dissolve until it gets to the point where it's that right um it's like 24 karat gold it won't dissolve if it's 24 but a 12 an 18 will dissolve a 12, so then you have to test it with the 18 to see if it's 24 or 18. So you have to do a lots of scrapes and testing. So um, I typically don't like to do that. I usually go off, uh, and usually if it's marked Italy, China will sometimes mark it Italy, but you can just tell the difference. It's not quite that great. So anyway, recap. For sure, sterling, just by the looks of it. Um, I think this could be sterling but it may have some other metals in it um and then this is not sterling but i think it's cute the little hershey kiss and leprechaun earrings are so cute and then this is probably plated but uh anyway and then i got some earrings i liked and um a necklace i think my daughter might like and this ear this necklace i like wouldn't that be cute with a little right costume? Um, and then we got uh, those earrings I might like. And then a couple of bracelets that I think one of my daughters might like. So, boy, that was almost a bust. But it's always fun going through them. And then I actually think these might sell online. These West Germany ones that I was sharing with you. It felt a little loose. Um, all right. 
check out my blog, secretofstrategy.com, and um, I will post pictures of the things that I find in the bags and the original bags, and I have uh, 900 plus videos on there, so check it out. Um, thanks for watching, and I hope you have a blessed day.